हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम प्रतीक्षा अग्रवाल एंड दिस इज पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ सीटिंग अरेंजमेंट स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सर्कुलर सीटिंग अरेंजमेंट सो स्टे टू टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो एंड इफ यू न्यू टू माई चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब ना लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द रिफरेंस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस एंड देन वील आंसर द क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स सी वॉट इज गिविंग यू Eight persons A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, and S are sitting around a circle, not in same order. Three of them are facing towards the center of circle, while others are facing outside. So I am going to underline these two lines. Why? I'll the reason I'll tell you later. Okay? Let's see what is given next. D is sitting third to right of A. So let's consider the first case. In first case, let's suppose A is facing towards the center. Now D is third to the right of A. Since A is sitting to uh, facing inside the center, so this side will be the right side of A, and this side will be the left side of A. Now D is third to the right, so count from here one, two, three. So D will be placed here at this position in case number one. Now let's consider the second case. In this, let's consider that A is facing outside the center. So now, since A is facing outside the center, so this side will be the right side of A. We have to place D third to the right of A. So count one, two, three. So D will be placed here at this position in case number two. Okay. There are two persons between D and Q. Okay, between D and Q, there are two people. So one. Two, so we are going to place Q here at this position in case number one. Okay, in case number two, again one, two, two people are in between D and Q. So we are going to place Q here at this position in case number two. C and P are immediate neighbors and both are facing opposite direction. We don't know C and P yet, so I am going to highlight this. Okay, so that we can come here later. Now it is given that C and P both are not immediate neighbors of Q. Okay, since P, C, and P are immediate neighbors and they both are, and uh, neither C nor P are immediate neighbors of Q. So, C they cannot come at this position. They cannot occupy this position. Okay. Now since these both are immediate neighbors, so they cannot occupy this position also. So two. Two places are left to place C and P. That is between A and D. These two position. Let me highlight this for you. These two position. So in case number one, let's consider C is placed here facing inside the center. So P will be placed here facing outside the center. Why the directions are opposite? Because it is given here that both are facing opposite direction. Okay. Now similar, similar in case number two, C. They cannot come. C and P cannot come at this position, at this position, and this position. Okay, so they both will occupy these two position between D and A. So let's suppose C is placed here at this position facing outside the center. So P will be placed here at this position facing inside the center or facing towards the center. Now let's see what is given next. S is sitting third to the right of C. Okay, now C is facing in case number one. C is facing inside the center, so this side will be the right side of C. Okay, so S is third to the right of C. So count first, two, and then three. So S will be placed here at this position in case number one. In case number two, C C is facing outside the center, so this side will be the right side of C. One, two. Three, so S will be placed here at this position in case number two. I hope everything is clear to everyone. Still, if you have any doubt, please comment me. I'll try to solve it. There is one person sitting between S and R. Okay, between S and R, there is only one person. So we will place R here because between S and R, there is only one person. So we will place R here in case number one. Okay, in case number two. See between S and R, one person is there, so we will place R here at this position in case number two. Q and D are facing opposite directions. Like if Q is facing inside, then D is facing outside, and vice versa. Okay, so I hope this is this line is clear to everyone. Now here, 
you see that these both are facing opposite direction okay so let's suppose in case number one q is facing inside then d will be facing outside the center okay and in case number two let's suppose q is facing outside then d will be facing inside or towards the center i hope this is clear to everyone b is sitting immediate left of d now in case number one d is facing outside the center okay so this side will be the right side of d and this side will be the left side of d okay now b is immediate neighbor of d immediate to the left of d so b will be placed here at this position in case number one in case number two d is facing inside the center so this side towards the upper side of the circle will be the left side of d now b is immediate left to d so b will be placed here at this position in case number two so we have placed b here s sits second to the right of r okay we don't know the directions of s and r yet in case number one and two so see uh, if we just notice their position so s is second to the right of r this can only be possible we are talking about case number one uh, suppose when r is facing outside the center in case number one then only s will be second to the right of r so in case number one r is facing outside the center okay we are going according to the conditions given now in case number two see the position of a r and s in this if r is facing towards the center then s will be second to the right of r okay so in case number two r will be facing inside the center why i have done this because it is given here this that as s sits second to the right of r okay and we were not known about the direction of r so we have suppose we have considered this situation i hope this is clear to everyone d and s faces same direction okay so in case number one see d is facing outside so s will also face outside in case number two d is facing inside so s will also face inside d and c faces opposite direction so let's check in case number one d is facing outside and c is facing inside in case number two d is facing inside and c is facing outside means this is correct now we have to come back to this underlined portion that three of them are facing towards the center means only three people are allowed to face towards the center so let's see in case number one how many people are facing inside the center so q is facing inside the center or towards the center c is facing towards the center and a is also facing towards the center this all should face outside the center or outside the circle okay now in case number 2 c d is facing inside the center uh, s is facing towards the center here r is facing towards the center and p is also facing towards the center means four persons are facing towards the center but according to uh, the statement only three of them should face towards the center means a case number 2 is wrong okay and in case number 1 five people were facing outside the center so b is also facing outside the center and our case number 2 is wrong okay i hope this is clear to everyone this is how we reach to the conclusion that our case number 1 is the right circular seating arrangement now let's see the questions who is sitting second to left of q okay now q is facing towards the center or inside the center so the left side of the q will be this side or the upper part of the circle will be the left side of q second to the left of q is b the first is s and second is b so b is sitting second to the left of q so answer for this should be option number e let's check the answer we got the correct answer let's move on to the next question who is sitting opposite to s here opposite to s means uh, opposite position to s okay so opposite position to s is p here so p is sitting opposite to s here option number b is our answer let's check the answer See, we got the correct answer again. Now let's move on to the next question. Which of the following persons faces towards the center? I guess I have given this answer already. The Q, C, and A are facing inside the center or towards the center. 
so in option number c a c q is given so our answer should be option number c let's check the answer see we got the correct answer again so students that's all for today i hope you like this video if you have any doubts do comment me i'll try to solve it don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel bye bye thank you